Okay, so tonight I feel like wasting a very clear, beautiful night. So let's go do a new experiment. So as you can see here, let's see. We have a, a huge mess, which is a bunch of cables dangling. And I am pointing right now at M42. So the experiment tonight is going to be, can you image the Ryan Nebula with a color camera and no filters? So uh, we're going to spend only one hour on it and see what happens. So let's go over here. The guiding is already started. And I'm going to go to SGP and we have 60 times one time one bin of 60 second exposures. And I'm going to run sequence and there we go. Okay, so we'll see it's going to be either completely blown out or it's going to be doable. I have no idea. I actually never tried uh, imaging a nebula from home with no filters. So um, by the way, this is Borrow 9, okay? And there is like lights everywhere. Look at the lights from the neighbors there all over the place. So it's really as bad as it gets. I mean, it's kind of scary with how I'm holding the camera. It's already Blair Witch as it is. Go. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Just kidding. So much light. <laughs> okay, so we're going to eat now. Um, so yeah, this is a QHY 600C. So color camera will always see with a bunch of, of stuff here. So um, let's go inside and see the results in one hour. The first frame is coming through and guess what? I have a bunch of dust spots. So that is not going to help, of course. Uh, and I did not want to take flats because I'm a lazy, lazy, lazy guy. But I guess I will. So after this, I'll have to take some flats just to remove those dust spots. And let's see, the second frame is coming right now. Here it is. Ah, it's very bright, but it's there. I took some flats and I packed up after just one hour exactly. And I processed the data on PixInsight really quick. I went very, very fast through it. I didn't want to spend all day on it. So this is one hour total on uh, the stacked file. So you can see here's a master file. And then I just did a, a, you know, a usual workflow on this. And I was really surprised to see uh, that crazy weird gradient and slash line on the left side. I have no idea why it happened. Uh, and there was also a bunch of circles like on the bottom right. And somehow the flats didn't work on this. I mean, I have no idea why the flats didn't work on there. But um, it's either because of dust spots and wrong flats or something else. But the line is really strange. So I wonder if it's from the light pollution. Luckily, I was able to go into Lightroom and hide most of it. So the line, including uh, most of those weird circles. And then I went back into PixInsight and finished processing. Okay, so here is the final result, all processed. So once again, just one hour with no filters at all uh, from the city with an OSC camera. Um, what do you think? I mean, it doesn't look bad to me. Some of the stars do look kind of, I guess, as the word blown out because they just look a little bright. Yeah. Um, in so a weird way. I think it's because there is so much noise that uh, you can see here that the noise not only is in the background but also gets all around the stars. So when you see a bright, a bright star, then you, you know the, the noise all just around it is super obvious. Besides that, the nebula itself to me looks really good. I mean, just one hour with no filters that was, I think it's really good. Usually with a light pollution filter, uh, you have some weird colors and it's really hard to uh, to color correct. But here, um, you know, the blue is blue, the red is red, and uh, even the Running Man Nebula looks great. Um, and M43 here looks great as well. And the trapezium, well, it's a bit blown out, of course, because we didn't bother taking like very short exposure for that. But it's not bad. Um, I really like it. Uh, sadly, we don't have any of the faint gases all around the nebula, because normally there is gases like all over the place, especially down mm -hmm. here. 
Um, we have some, some hints of gas going down here, but uh, we don't have any insane gas uh, on the bottom here. And uh, yeah, I'm just only, I'm only surprised by the fact that we had a weird line here and those those round like dust spots almost, even though we cleaned the camera. I oh, know we, we took flats, uh, so I'm surprised the flats didn't correct that, but I was able to, to remove them a bit with Lightroom. Yeah, and you can also tell that there's like two different shades of darkness. Obviously the right side looks a lot more like lighter and then the left side looks darker. Yeah, there's a gradient for sure. That's light pollution. Uh, is obviously here um, but yeah overall um, I think if you guys want to image a nebula well the right nebula is really easy right so but if you want to you could do it from the city so go out in your backyard and do it uh, with no filters it's okay and just spend more than one hour on it uh, I think if you spend like a full night maybe two full nights you could have something amazing uh, with much less noise so yeah hopefully that was a uh, interesting galactic experiment I think it was the fifth one and um, yeah, if you have any other ideas for future experiments, let us know. And we'll see you next time. Peace, guys. Yes.